So, hello, my name is Timo Fetch, and uh, I'm going to talk about a generic approach for completing PDF forms, data from semantic media wiki. So, um, the paper is often, is often still real. Quite often you have to fill out some forms with, um, on real paper, and that's not really cool. So, in some cases, all the data you need to write on, your, on this form is already stored in uh, the semantic media wiki. For example, here are some forms from Forschungszentrum Informatik. Um, it's some requests if you want to travel or write an offer or something. So our goal is to create some PDF files completely automatically with data from the semantic media wiki based on a given PDF template. So, for example, if you want to make a travel request, uh, all our data is already in our semantic media wiki and uh, with the plugin we built, you can get the filled out uh, form completely dynamic and automatic. So, our approach was to build a, we built a plugin that combines existing PDF forms with data from the semantic media review. And then we provide an online editor, I'll show you later, uh, that can be used to create these templates from PDF files. So, um, to visualize it, here we have the PDF template. It's just an empty PDF form. On the other side, we have our data. We can ask via ask queries with our plugin. We combine these and the result is a filled out PDF file. So how do we do it? First, we create a template that calls our plugin. And this template stores all the variables and the positions of these variables in itself. So here's a quick short example. This is how we call our plugin. This is the parameter, how you tell the plugin which uh, template you want to use. It's just a the empty PDF file, and here you give all the parameters. So this is a text message on our first page. This is just the position where the variable should be stored or written, and this is just the name of the variable. So in this case, we want to write our name on this position on page one. So. Um, the next move would be, if we created our template, to write it in our page or article, however we want to use it. Um, therefore, we create an ask query and choose as a result template, the template we already uh, created, and select all the used variables we want to use. So here, in our example, we, create, uh, we write an ask query with our title, where we search it, and the variables we want to show in our form. As um, the template, you choose the template you've written. And what's important, you have to uh, enable the named args setting. The result is you get a link to our PDF file that is already filled out. So here's an example. This is our editor. What you do is you give him a link to a PDF file, then it opens an editor where you can put in some variables. So here is the name of a project. Then you select where the name should be written on the PDF file and give itself the name. And you can set all kind of uh, visualizing things like font size or line height or font type. And even the line height. So if you have a multi-column field, it's no problem. You can set it perfectly that it fits good. So the result is you get out of our uh, plugin a text content. This is just the, the text snippet you put in the template uh, file, uh, template page, which we do here. So here stands, uh, here's then the name and all the settings you can uh, choose. The other thing is then you use the template and uh, make an ask query and give the ask query your template you created. So what we do is we, sorry, yeah, we, 
create this ask query. Here, I want to do it. We create this ask query on our project page, and the result is then this PDF download link. So here we have an example with our data from the project. And what you get is our filled in, filled out uh, data form. So all the data is uh, transmitted to the PDF file already, and you just have to print it out and not have to write everything down by yourself. So what we can already, uh, what we still have to do is are some kind of things. Uh, so the first thing is, at the moment we use iMagic for rendering the image, but in the online editor, that's not really cool because you have the dependency on your web server you need. What can, could be done is you could render the PDF file for the editor in JavaScript on the machine, on the local machine, and uh, you would have no dependencies on your server itself. So that's the only thing we need at the moment is iMagic. Everything, the PDF creation is done uh, in PHP itself. Then what we can do is a better automation because uh, at the moment what we do is we, wrote, uh, we write the export and you have to put it in your template uh, page uh, on your own. What we could do is to make it aut automatic. Self uh, is with the Asbury at the moment you have to write it yourself. Uh, that could be done automatic too. And another thing is we would, we would need more data types. So at the moment we have uh, checkboxes and some checkboxes where you have uh, different possible possibilities, but not uh, yeah some kind of examples like lists uh, are still missing. That could be done. I think it's just a matter of time. And also more complex checkboxes on some sign uh, on some PDF forms. You have some conditions like. Blah blah blah. Frag uh, question. Yes, no. But if you say yes, you have to fill in some forms on, on one side. If you choose no, you have to fill it out on another side or something like this. Um, yeah, that was it. Thanks. Yeah. That looks really awesome. Uh, one of the things uh, we encounter with creating PDFs, we, we have a different route, is uh, when you have uh, multiple pages or, or, or long pages, say, say you're creating a book, in fact, yeah. uh, you run uh, uh, against the limitations of how long uh, your query can be because it takes too long time. Do, how many pages do you generate? And do you have experience with the performance of it? You can generate as many pages as you want. Uh, the performance could be lower if it's more, but I think it's pretty performant. Can you tell what your experience is? Have you tried? Really. I didn't try to max it out and do it with hundreds of pages or something. Use case for this approach is just to have that the forms as you have seen them, which we use in our research division and these are normally two or three pages and at least for this amount it is sufficient. Okay, thanks. <coughs> so one question on the back. Yeah, um, one thing that I don't know if you said it or I just didn't understand it. Um, you need as the source PDF document, you need a PDF document with forms that you can normally fill out. Exactly. And, okay. And, and then on the one side, you had something where you um, had to give the place where this text should be written. Okay. I didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. So, I think one message. back was it. I think this is our editor. So um, you have an emptied uh, PDF form, and what you have to do is to uh, describe where your variables should be written on the PDF form. So here is the project name uh, question, and then 
when you would write it normally, you would, would write it here. And you have to configure the same thing with our plugin because it has to know where it is, where it should store. And this is what we do. And you have to do this one time and that's it. Okay. This data does not uh, create a new view or a new uh, document. We use existing documents and we just specify which coordinates we use to uh, fill in the variables from the wiki. Okay, because I was thinking about um, you can in PDF also uh, specify fields where you can directly enter text. Yeah. I thought it would be something like that. Yeah, we thought about it, but uh, a lot of forms are written in Microsoft Word even. And I see. Uh, then you can print it as PDF and this works in this case and these special field uh, PDF forms are not that uh, common. Okay, I see. Thanks. It, does it, is it really asking of the final PDF? Huh? It should. It does it, is it really asking of the final PDF? Huh? It should. It does it, is it really asking of the final PDF? Huh? It should. It does it, is it really SMW final PDF? It should. It does it, is it really SMW? I mean, is that part of it uh, connecting to semantic media wiki? The normal PDF export would create a, a new file from the content of the wiki, like you print the pages in, in the media wiki itself. But this was not our aim, but we aim more like we have existing forms in whatever format. It could be an Excel sheet or a uh, Word document or a PDF form or PDF without uh, functionality. So any document we want to, uh, like it's given from external uh, constraints. So we want to use that document and rather to fill it by hand, we want to fill it from, with data from the wiki. So we do not want to specify how the PDF should look like or define the, uh, the layout for the form. We just want to use the data from the wiki to fill to the existing form. Uh, I, think you, I think you misunderstood my question, but I'm not sure. Uh, it, it, does, that, is, does that part of it why is it called SMW PDF export that time as opposed to just something else? Or <coughs> PDF export? Or okay. Uh, yeah, the data is gathered from an ask query. I think that's the only thing we use from semantic data. Okay. Uh, not to belabor the point, but it seems to me that the, the data comes from a query and then goes into that, uh, that tag. So the tag doesn't know that the data is coming from a query. Yes. It could be coming from anywhere. Obviously. Uh, in fact, we have a prototype where you don't need a semantic wiki. You can put uh, all the variables you want. Okay. Well, so I would, just, I would say you could consider maybe maybe it's worth renaming the tag. That's that was. <laughs> and you can use it in, in a static way. Yeah? So you just right. create a template and you say uh, the values want to have. But uh, then you would have for each printout create a new wiki page. Mm -hmm. And for that approach, we, we just uh, we, um, um, we, we just run the query, the same query, on another data set, and then we get a new form. Right. The idea is to have one template for the project, so we can create all the outputs for all projects without uh, creating new pages in the wiki. Sure.